Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We are all healed up here, and we are going to do the Biogenesis mission. We have some new research. Mutog War Beast. Scared research, okay. The Mutog is a fierce creature that combines the abilities and characteristics of multiple animals. It is also able to leap huge distances, destroy walls, and even regenerate body parts. The mutation and cloning process for mutox is extremely sophisticated and requires a generous supply of mutagens. Nonetheless, they can be manufactured like any other war machine. Okay, cool. Shamash Venomous. Nana Venomous Agile Slasher Mutog. Uh, venomous Agile Basher. Slasher. Venomous Regenerating Basher. Venomous Regenerating Slasher, Ramming Agile Basher, and Ramming Agile Slasher. Okay. Cool. Is that a vehicle? It is a vehicle. It takes 300 mutagens. 300. Jesus. Okay. Head. Poison 60. Shale, shred, damage 40, shred 50, shocks, uh, shock 150. Okay, this could be kind of fun to play with. But we need a lot of mutagen for it. Alright, let's head up to this uh, mission. You have arrived there. You need to explore. Mission briefing. Synedrian has produced a genetically engineered plant that may be re resistant to the Pandora virus. It's, if successful, this experiment could help humanity reclaim the planet by designing a new ecosystem as favored by the faction Noza, known as the Terraformers. But before that can happen, the plant has to be tested in the wild. To that end, our officers must place the seeds at the coordinates we were provided with. Okay, let's start the mission. Oh, you need some ammo. Uh, equipment. Okay. Let's, let's just, just make some. We have a bit. Okay. Let's go back and deploy the squad. I wonder what kind of enemies we'll be encountering here. It's Pandorans or... Anu or New Jericho or what it is. It's Pandorans. Okay. So we have you. Pink Chameleon, Silent Echo, Spawn Mist, Spawn Mist. Alright, and it has a New Jericho Bulldog Assault Rifle. Uh, so it has Pain Chameleon. Now, five by five. you don't really care about Pain Chameleon, do you? Uh, I think we'll take you and dash up and kill this thing. Now, let's see, is there like an objective spot? There is. There are several. Okay. The one up here? No. So the objective spots are over here. Four of them. Alright. Uh, let's see, you can see it there, yeah? Dash in there. Fire at the torso. Die. Uh, let's see. You can see a grenade. Is that it? Okay, I guess so. All right. What's our plan? Uh, let's lay it down a bit of covering fire for him because he's a bit exposed there without any way to defend himself. So, cover there. 
and then cover up this way. Can come up here and cover this way. You stand by. You can run in this direction towards the. Uh, we don't. We want a wide arc, but we don't want it to be too far. Go up here and switch to the gun. Overwatch in that direction. Holding position. All right. There's a thing with a shield. Don't mind shields too much. There's another one. And a Triton. Another Triton. There are a lot of enemies here. Okay. So we can see five enemies right now. Three Tritons and two of these guys. Now what do you guys have? Pincer shield and spitter head okay now you dash you up here and take this guy out uh, let's shoot him in the leg Okay, where did it go? Oh, right there. Okay. He's dead. <laughs> oh, where was that? I feel like the map turned around somehow. Where? It did, didn't it? I can't figure out where I am. Okay, it was up here. Oh. Killed that thing, right? Yeah, it's dead. I don't know what's there. Can't see it, so I guess there's nothing there. Okay. Then we have you. Uh, let's see how much... Help to do the guy these guys have quite a bit. Uh, what weapons do you have? Ooh, iconoclast shotguns. Uh, do you have an iconoclast shotgun as well? You do. There's another thing down here. Okay. If we dash over behind this guy, and take him out. Then we can dash twice more. Uh, and maybe take this guy out. Then there's just these two left. Now you can dash over and take one of them. And then you two, I guess, could dash over and take the other. So let's dash you up here. Hopefully we don't see any more enemies. We do. 
There's one there. Okay. So we need to dash in here and take this guy out. And then we need to dash into cover. Hmm. I really want to hit the leg and the arm as much as possible. Well, actually, I want to take out the torso, don't I? Yeah, I do. I didn't, though. Crap. That kind of ruins my plans. Because now he can't dash. Receiving loud and clear. Ooh. Mark for death. You know what? If you you can dash three times. So where where did this guy go? He's there. You can't get there in one dash. Right. All set. Let's uh, where is he? There. But can't get there in one dash. Really sucks. We can do rapid, rapid clearance to recover two action points. That costs five will points, which means that you will only be able to dash once. Unless we dash over here. Dash again. Over here. Then we can strike you. Taking you out. Which means that we can do another dash over here. Um. Hmm. If you came up here, you know what? Let's dash Gotta up here. Keep on pushing. And just Read walk in there. Plus three will points. I'm here. So now you can do rapid clearance. And hopefully take him out. No, you didn't. Crap. Okay. Uh, if you... No rest Dash up here. And then dash over here. Then you can take up him. Enemy hit. Why is he not dead? Dash three times. Uh, let's see, you. This is going to be a terrible shot. Uh, what if you came up here? your buddy. Thank you. Dash in here. 
You can do one more dash. Shit, there's another one there. Can you get out of the way? No. But he might be dead. He can only shoot once. And he can't see a damn thing. Overwatch. Let's see what happens. He's running away. That's good. Didn't do anything to him. Oof. Hopefully he can only shoot once, yeah. And he can only hit once, right? Yeah. Alright. We got this. Dash in here. King Chameleon and run back. But he ran back to there. So giving us a better shot. Is it dead? I kind of doubt it. Can't dash. You can recover, but that'll take all your action points. Come up here. And shoot him in the leg. Good. Now you have a dash in you. He's still there. Well, let's move up here. Hello. Strike twice. Okay. Uh, you're stand by. Uh, you could do with a reload, actually, but you are just gonna run. Down here. And reload. Then there's this guy. I'm gonna come up here. And overwatch in this general direction, I guess. Alright, the uh, we killed every alien or Pandoran, I guess. So those seeds. Oh! That was the mission. No, it wasn't. We need to do it everywhere. So come down here. Those seeds. There's two of them done. And there's two up here in this corner. Just run as far as we can. And hopefully no Pandorans will spawn when we've uh, sowed these seeds. Because that would really suck. You come up here. And overwatch. But here. You're done. You come up here. And overwatch down here. You're done. You 
really need to use a medkit just in case. And then you can I guess just move over here. Alright. Let's sow the remaining seeds. That the mission? That's the mission. Alright, very good. Mission complete. Special mission. Nice. Any levels? Oh, he is so close. He is so close. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. All right. So let's head back to the drift gate. Your help is greatly appreciated, even though it's on a project I personally voted against. I'd just like to offer this one note of caution. It was the existence of a hierarchical society built on profit and dominance that led humanity to its present state. Let's try to avoid recreating such structures. Okay. Uh, human dominance over the ecosphere is not the same as class society. The polyphonic tendency is right. We must learn to live on the planet, not just own it. Leadership is necessary. Uh, yeah, I, I think we'll take the polyphonic tendency. I'm glad our arguments are persuasive. There is no other way to successfully reach our goal. Okay, so Nidrin likes us a bit more. We got 200 tech, 200 materials, 200 food, and diplomatic relations with Sinidrian have changed. Very cool. Okay. So that means we have every Sinidrian base on the face of the earth, right? Uh, yes, it does. Very nice. Now, they don't have much presence over here in the Americas either. Well, I guess New Jericho is prevalent in the Americas. Now, let's have a look here. Uh, ooh, a sniper! A sniper! Guys, a sniper! Uh, at a Sinidrian heaven. Let's check. Are there either Sinidrian heavens where there may be a sniper? Ooh. I really want snipers. You're not a sniper. No. Uh, you're not a sniper. You're not a sniper. You're not a sniper. You look down here. You're not a sniper or a heavy. It's really a sniper or a heavy. I don't really care which one. Uh, don't know if I already checked that one. Right, so there's a sniper over here. Who we really, really want. As in really, really want. So maybe we send this team to deal with the layer and the other team to recruit a sniper. Uh, oh, what we could do. I think that's an excellent idea. We will grab the Manticore, send it back home. And we'll let this exploration finish. Research complete. Siren Autopsy. Summary. The siren is named after its bone-chilling screech, which has psychic as well as sonic components. 
It incorporates human and myriad, myriapod genetic, genetic information resulting in, in a particularly gruesome monster. However, its mind control abilities are its most terrifying characteristic. In order to understand more about its mechanism, it is imperative that we capture and study a live specimen. This could be the key to understanding the whole structure of this Andorran symbiotic collective. Genetic origins. 9% arthropod, 8% myriapod, 23% human, 60% unknown. Function, leadership, abduction, close combat, mind control. Can directly control an enemy with low will, especially after attack by virus or psychic screen. Offensive mutations, acid injection, acid ejection, slashing blades, viral infection, psychic scream. Defensive, defensive mutation, multi-pedal variant is armored. Agile variant can move rapidly, very limited ranged ability. Okay, cool. All right, let's, okay, that finished up this. Now, you are going to meet up with the Manticore. Things fall apart. We have re received an unconfirmed report of someone dying during a potentially ODI-related recurring nightmare. The individual in question had supposedly reported that with each repetition of the dream they came closer to the gates of a tomb in a vast dead city under a black sky. It's hard to judge what exactly this means without more evidence. Okay. Up to 50%, 15% on the ODI meter there. You are moving so slow. I think it's really cool, the, the Tiamat 2, but it's so slow. It's, I think it's a little bit too slow now. Look at that. That thing is moving fast. I like that. That's a Sinidrian ship. Okay. Now. We want eight people on the Tiamat. Or, yeah, eight people on the Tiamat. Uh, let's see. What do we want? We have you. And that's fine. And we have you. Carry, I think we're going to switch over to the Manticore in order to get. Actually, wait, Carry is level 5. Let's put you back on the Tiamat. Uh, training. We really need to multi class you. Give you some assault training. Give you dash. Because that rifle just sucks. It absolutely such sucks. So that means that now he can get... Well, for now, I suppose... One of these. Yeah. Let's grab an extra grenade as well. Now, Kerry doesn't have head armor, which is not great. But it is what it is. Then we will take... Uh, Amish. And we'll take... Oh, you guys have level ups. Uh, let's see, training. You need dash. You need close quarters combat. Mind sense, all organic enemies. Now that one is really nice, I want that. And that means I want to bring you instead. So, that means that uh, 
you switch to the manticore and you switch to the tiamat you need a level uh, there and there and i actually want you with me i think unless we want Nah, I think we want Babe on the team map. We're only going to have three on the Manticore, or we could do with four. Let's leave four on the Manticore. And then take seven on the tier map. Now, Manticore, you are basically fully healed and rested. We'll give you a little second here. There we go. Manticore, head over. Here, please. The disciples of Anu Haven is under attack. Uh, well, Nipur, there. Alright, so... Uh, Tiamat will head down and deal with Nipur, and then the lair. But... It will deal with it in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.